hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem x plus y equals 6 we'll call this a y equation 1 x y also equals 6 equation 2 now the question is is it can it ever be possible that x plus y will be equal to 6 and x times y will be equal to 6 Okay, let's solve it and see how possible that will be. Now, to deal with this, we can work from we can work on our equation one and get x so that we can get x to be equal to six minus y, and we will call this our equation three because we will be coming back to this now. Since equation 1 gave us this equation 3, put this equation 3 into equation 2. Now equation 2 is x, y equal to 6. Now what is x? x is 6 minus y. Then this y outside will still come and this is equal to 6. So what do I do? Open the bracket. 6 times y, that will give 6y. Minus y times y will give us y squared, and this is equal to 6. Mind you, I can rearrange this so that I will have minus y squared plus 6y equals 6. Then what should I do? This negative shouldn't be here. So we'll use negative 1 to multiply each of the term so that we have y squared here. This will turn to negative 6y, and then this will be equal to negative 6. But then this is a quadratic equation, so the constant should come to the left. So we have y squared minus 6y plus 6 equals 0. Because minus 6 to the left becomes plus 6. Okay, so the next question will be, what method do we use to solve this um, quadratic equation? Okay, let's use um, formula method. So that y will be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac. And this is over 2a. Now, the a, b, c here are from the quadratic equation. A is the coefficient of y squared, B, um, B is a coefficient of y, C is a constant, so that our y will be minus minus 6, because B itself is equal to minus 6, and this negative would come first, plus or minus, we have square root of B squared becomes minus 6 to the power of 2. If the bracket here is not there, it will give you a wrong answer. Minus, we have 4 multiplied by A, 1 multiplied by 6, because C is 6. This is all over 2 times 1. This means that Y is equal to negative negative will give positive, plus or minus, then square root of, square of minus 6. Will give 36 then minus 4 times 1 times 4 will give us 24 and this is all over 2 this is all over 2 now this means that y is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 36 minus 24 will give 12 so we have 12 over here, and this is all over 2. But I can break this 12 down so that y will be equal to 6 plus or minus. We have a um, square root of 4 times 3. Because 4 times 3 will give 12, and 4 is a perfect square. So this means that y is equal to 6 plus or minus. Square root of 4 is 2. Then we have root 3. This is all over 2. Okay, so let's continue. 
Okay, so from here, we can factor out 2 from the numerator so that y will be equal to 2 into bracket 3 plus or minus square root of 3. And this is over 2. If you open this bracket, it will give you the numerator back. Now, this can go with this. And we are saying that y now is equal to 3 plus or minus square root of 3. Right? So this equally means that y is equal to 3 plus square root of 3 or 3 minus square root of 3. So this is what it means. Now, this is simultaneous equation. So we are going to get our value of x as well. Then, remember our equation 3. Remember our equation 3. x equals 6 minus y. So now that we got the value of y, put it into this equation so that x will be equal to 6 minus open bracket 3 plus root 3. I'm working with this first. So x is equal to 6 minus 3 minus root 3. Because the negative, sorry I wrote out of sight, this is what we have. So the negative will open this bracket and it will affect this um, positive and it turns to negative. Now x is equal to this minus this will give 3 minus root 3. So what are we saying? We are saying that when x equals 3 minus root 3, y equals 3 plus root 3. So this is what we are saying. Now let's go back to our equation 3 again. x equals um, 6 minus y. Now this time around, I'm going to use the second value of y, which is um, 3 minus root 3. Okay, so this means that x will be equal to 6 minus, open bracket, y is 3 minus root 3. So the negative will still, would, um, still open the bracket so that x will be equal to 6 minus 3 plus root 3. Negative, negative will give positive. So x is now equal to 6 minus 3 is 3, then we have plus root 3. So from here, what are we saying? We are saying that um, when, when x equals 3 plus root 3, y equals 3 minus root 3. Okay, so this value of x and y, and then this particular value will be satisfying the two, um, the two equations. Um, thank you for watching and do well to share this to your friends and um, give me um, a thumb up.